I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a car. Okay, well, here we are at the Sky Bar um, O2 Arena with the O2 behind us. Got a card. Look at that behind you. So you're going to be fighting soon. Jeez, tingles. not bad, is it? I'm not bad. <laughs> unbeaten as well, Scotty Cardo. You're facing the unbeaten as well, Craig Evans. What, what do you think of this fight coming up? Um, well, I was, I was surprised to, to hear that Craig Evans got the shot. Obviously, he's been campaigning at Super Fair most mm. of his career. Um, but that being said, he's a very tricky kid. He's a southpaw, and I rate him quite highly. So it's, uh, I'm, I'm going to be firing on all cylinders. My preparation has been perfect for it, and uh, I'm ready for the night definitely. I did say past this to Kevin Mitchell there. You already are looking in shape, aren't you? You're pretty much close to the weight already. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously I've been training since Christmas, really, uh, waiting for this British title. I didn't know who it would be. Terry Flanagan's had it for quite a while now, and he's finally given it up. So. Um, I've been in shape since Christmas and uh, I've never been out of, out of the gym, so I'm more than ready. As you said, I mean, Craig Evans, yes, I'm beaten, but coming up from the weight, do you think it's the case of just too big, too strong on the night for him? Possibly. He's, uh, see, he's very he's very sharp with his punches and he's, he's very tricky, so I haven't got an easy night on my hands at all. Um, so that's what I'm preparing for. He's southpaw, I've got to get sparring in for that, so uh, there's a lot of preparation needing doing. Um, so I'm not going to say I'm going to be too big, too strong, mm. but I, I know for a fact on the night, my strength, my fitness, my speed, everything's going to be on point. I know it's going to be more than more and better than his, so uh, that's what I'm ready for. Without looking past him, which obviously no one ever wants to do, do you look at a division in Britain and think, or in the world and think it's one of the best divisions out there? There's a lot of money fights out there. Yeah, well, it's, for me, it is the best division, especially mm. in the British uh, the British scene. Mm. Um, everyone's going down their own routes, really, so I'm happy to be given the, this shot, the British title shot. Um, but the likes of Luke Campbell, Tommy Collar, that's a big fight coming up. Uh, Kevin Mitchell's on this night. Mm. He's been looking brilliant as well. So it, everyone's flying, really. Ricky Burns is going mm. in for another big fight as well so it's just uh, I, I'm just I'm finding my feet now I'm yeah. starting to I'm starting to plan, the, plan my feet and getting the shots and I, I know for a fact I'm going to start making noise on the scene Is that something you think you needed to work on in your fights maybe just planting your feet a bit more a bit more strength Definitely without a doubt obviously I've I've came from a, a good amateur pedigree mm. and uh, it's all about getting points and yeah. now, now I'm starting to realise is I'm, I'm going back to my, my really old style and yeah. planting my feet and getting the shots in and uh, I'm, I'm happy to be back, back to that old school style. Yeah, I thought I've got to ask you about on this card. Obviously, Kelbrook face or faces uh, Frankie Gavin. What do you make of that fight? I'm made up for both mm. for both fighters. I, I'm very close to both fighters, and I'm, I'm made up for Frankie getting the shot. Obviously, and yeah. it's it's obviously it, it bigs the profile up for this uh, this bill as well. Yeah. So I think it's going to be great. Um, it's a clash of styles, really. Mm. Um, Frankie's the the, the stylish boxer and Kel, Kel can punch, you know what yeah. I mean? Kel's got a good whack on him, so it's, it's uh, I think Frank is going to start very fast and I think he's going to be, he's going to get most of the success at the start, but uh, I think Kel, if Kel starts like pinning him down, mm. it's going to be a tough fight. I think Frank is underrated. We're only talking about one defeat, really. That was to Bundu, who everyone says is world elite. Do you think it's, he's underrated? Very much so. Yeah, I don't think you've seen the best of Frank. Really, he's uh, he's been hidden really in Box Nation. I think Sky yeah. Sports is it, it, it's a push for him. It's mm. going to push him more, and uh, I, I think it's going to be a great fight. I think it's uh, it's definitely an eligible for a world title, and it's it's good to see on the stage. Yeah, you mentioned Kevin Mitchell. You mentioned Ricky Burns. How far away do you think you are from that? Those type of fights. Those type of contenders? I don't think I'm too far. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna big myself up and say I'm ready for them now. But um, I don't think I'm too far away. I've I've only been a pro for three years, so I am finding my feet. And people the, forget that, don't they? Yeah, they exactly. Do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd, uh, three years in March. So mm. that's what I'm saying. It's uh, I'm still a baby in the game, really. Yeah. But. Um, I'm, I'm getting pushed nicely, but fastly, you know what yeah. I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with all the steps I've taken, going down the British route and then possibly the European after that, but I'm not I'm not going to start comparing myself to world titles yet. So yeah. um, obviously, it's i just got to see one fight at a time and then if the big fights come down the line, I'll, I'll be ready for them. If you win this fight unscathed, will you be out again maybe August, September, possibly? I'd, I'd like to think so, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to chill out for a bit, obviously. I've enjoy got your summer. <laughs> enjoy my summer. I've got a wedding to go to in New York, so okay. I've got to enjoy that in June. Yeah. And I'm straight back in the gym. 
Um, so I'm hoping September I'll be I'll be back to my back to my winning ways. Fantastic, Scotty Carter. Thanks for talking to Box Talk, mate. Brilliant, thank Cheers. you.